Hello everybody, I'm Palkifano8, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Eternia! Wow, it actually feels very natural to say that! Not like Devil May Cry, which I always wanted to say. Tales of Devil May Cry. Anyway, I'm sorry for the abrupt ending last time. The timer wasn't really on my side, and I think I talked a little bit too much. Which I'm doing right now too, so I'm sorry. Let's just continue with this. And so, that's what happened. We wanted to ask for your advice. Yeah, we... she said that last time, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll search the site of the explosion immediately. It might still be dangerous. I love that guy's voice. Right. And... Mm, what about her? She must be cast out. What? It might seem cruel, but it is my duty to protect this village. That's no excuse. You're saying we just turn our backs on a girl in trouble? Sarah. Look at the color of her skin. Strange clothes. Unintelligible speech. She could be the seed of disaster. Wow. Seriously, dude? Racism? In the first half an hour in a game? A Tales game, no less? Wow! Douche! Yeah, you're an explosive douche. Seriously? Look at the color of her skin. She's the seed of disaster. Douche! Huh? What's wrong? Whoa! Uh, what's going on? I I don't so. <laughs> Suddenly you didn't seem that frightening. That voice doesn't fit you at all. Whoa! Okay. So we get thrown into our first boss battle against Question Mark Man. Whoa! Ah! He got Thunderblade! Holy shit! And he is really not that bad. He's most likely thrown away Mega Man boss. I don't know. Question Mark Man. I can't really picture him in a Mega Man game, but. You see? That's it! Yeah. Slash up. And uh, Farah also got foot and fist levels, just like Reed. So, I swear that language has way too many pauses, so I always think that, okay, I can continue with the text now. Nope! As I was trying to say, if it wasn't bad enough that you have to level up slash and thrust with Reed, Farah also have a similar level, uh, style, sorry, called foot and fist levels. So, yippee, and we got some new skills, but we'll go over that later. Whoa! What was that? Are you okay? Bundi yaru pai didi undu? Uai tu, ai ruite gua ti. Ti ai mukusu. That man, was he after her? No, he was after you, Hooky. It didn't look like a father greeting his lost child, that's for sure. <laughs> really? Hmm, I thought that was normal. Ah, Elder, are you alright? Ah, I am, acting! Right? You two? Again? Are you two bringing disaster upon us? You're wrong! Ah, crap. I didn't mean to continue the text. Uh, he was saying, Are you two bringing disaster upon us? Just like before? Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to. 
Mother, this has nothing to do with back then. Cast the girl out. Banish her. Banish her. I understand. We'll do as you order. However, I'm going with her as well. Do as you wish. Goodbye. Hey, hey! So, that mare is a huge douche. Seriously. I don't resist, of course. Thanks for waiting. Ta da! No! What did you do? I love those cl or the clothing she has when she joins or when she when we meet her. That's just no! Oh. oh! She's wearing my old clothes. What do you think? Now when we leave the village, we won't attract attention. Nah, because green and purple hair is completely normal. Well, it's a tails game, so... Sure, it's normal. Do you really plan to leave the village? Yeah, I've decided. First, I need to find someone who can understand her. Any ideas? Hmm. Ah, got one. How about Keel? Keel? By Keel, you mean that crybaby good-for-nothing Keelzebel? <laughs> I love that. Keelzebel! That was when he was small. He's become a student at Minchi University. Aren't the students there well-respected? He might be able to understand her. But it's Keel we're talking about. I wonder... No problem. Ugh. It's decided. Our destination is the town of Academia Mitch. Yeah. Farrah's little uh, catchphrase is no problem. I would like to have a no problem counter, but I think it's already been done. Ah, screw it. No problem counter. There we go. Well, let's go, my little lost bird. That sounds so creepy. Um, well, we need to leave now. We leave this village, but he stays here. Understand? I are stupid. Understand? Well, at least she's trying to make contact, I guess. Vivian, Vivian. Ow, ow, ow! My name isn't Febriel. Hmm. What now? Reed, what do we do? It looks like she wants to stay with you. What do you mean, what do we do? <laughs> well, she needs to leave the village, but she doesn't want to be separated from you. That's all I'm saying. No! Oh! Okay, we got all the text. <laughs> as I thought. I knew this would happen. I had a bad feeling all along. Here we go again. Oh, going on itself. It isn't that bad like. being needed by such a cute girl, is it? Who actually fell from the skies. <sighs> Why couldn't it be like that in real life? Whatever. Don't forget that it's dangerous out there. We'll need to be well prepared. Right. So, we got three party members now. Awesome. Let's see, let's... Okay, we learn Sonic Blade, which is Majinkin or Demon Fang or whatever. Oh, and Swarm popped up, which is the Autumn Sandstorm skill or Sword Rain 
if you want. I don't know why they absolutely had to change the name of the skills in this one, but... Ah, I guess it's okay. Pharaoh join, she has Palm Strike, Triple Blossom, and she can learn Sonic Fist when she levels up her... Uh, well, levels. <laughs> uh, most likely fist levels. And the question mark girl, another unused enemy from Mega Man. She's a magic user. And magic has been changed quite a lot in this game from Fantasia. Now you can actually, well, avoid the magic, which is very hard to do in Fantasia. Since the magic, when it was cast on you, you couldn't do much. You could barely move. Now you can you have more control in battle, so you can actually avoid it. Okay, I've been waiting until we got more party members, but let's talk about Reed and Farah. Now, Reed is actually not your typical Tales of hero. He doesn't always do the right thing. In fact, most of the time, he think more of himself. He would rather do what he wants than to do what's right. Most of the time, he'd, real he'd rather just eat or sleep instead. And seriously, Reed has a black hole in his stomach. He can eat for hours. So how the heck is he that thin? That's just annoying. Okay, I know I kind of make it sound like Reed is a complete douche. And, well, he, he really can be. <laughs> but he's not really that bad. Uh, you'll see that later, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but he do get a little bit better. Uh, but it's also pretty refreshing, really, to see a hero not being completely devoted to doing the best or what's expected for a hero, you know? And, you know, absolutely have to sacrifice and save and protect all that. Reed is more of a person that thinks before he, or yeah, thinks what the consequences can be before he actually acts. So yeah, I uh, I like him. So, simple put, Reed is a stubborn and lazy bastard who would rather do what he wants uh, than what we, what is expected from a typical hero. But when people is in danger. He will usually not hesitate, though, to help them. Now, what Reed lacks as a Tales of Hero? Farah has in spades. Seriously, if you didn't know anything about this game, you might actually have thought that she was the main character. Farah is a very optimistic and happy little girl. She will always do what she thinks is right, without a second thought. And that is also her biggest flaw, really. She never thinks before she acts. And that will give us trouble later. Trust me, you will see it. So, simple put, Farah is a kind-hearted woman who have problems knowing when not to get involved in what's not her business. And to be honest, she kinda annoys me a little bit. And then we got the question mark girl. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna wait actually to talk about her until we learn her name. It's not that far off, so... Let's explore the village. I love the music in this village. It is beautiful. Hey dude, what's up? Meach, the town of Academia? It's far south of Russian's river. Well, we have to meet up with the crybaby, apparently. Ah, I love this place. Let's see. Yeah, what's... what the, This game has a lot of, like, hidden items, so... Uh, watch out! Like, right over here! Check here and you will get... A lens! Which is actually a reference to Tales of Destiny. You In Tales of Destiny you got lenses after battle and you can sell them for money. 
In this game, they are collectibles. There are 60 lenses in the whole game for you to collect. They are completely optional, of course. But uh, if you really want to get them all, go right ahead. I will at least try. I can't promise anything. Now, this armor, I believe. If you check it... Boom! This guy is awesome! <laughs> I am the mysterious wonder chef. I'll teach you how to make my original omelette. Yeah, these guys are, or the wonder chef is like the chefs in Fantasia. Only this time, you have to find them. They are hidden. Omelette has three ingredients: rice, eggs, and onions. Received omelette ingredients. Have a nice day. And it disappears. Yeah, there's a lot of recipes in this game too, so watch out for the Wonder Chef. Yeah, we got some items here, or weapons, or items and weapons actually. Do not buy the long sword for Reed, it's not worth it. I will, however, buy a leather helm. And also the... don't buy a lid shield either, it's not worth it. Let's see, equip... I... I always do that. When I play this game, I always think that the equip is over here or something. It's a little bit annoying. If you can move, thank you. Now, let's see. Let's find more stuff in this village. Oh, and you can press the circle button to run away. <laughs> away? Around, by the way. I believe there's something in here. Yeah, this little piggy here. Guess what? The pig turned into a chef. <laughs> I love the music. I am the mysterious wonder chef. I'll teach you how to make on the run sandwich. We actually have to learn how to make a sandwich? Huh. And we get the sandwich recipe. A swa sandwich, a sandwich has three, three ingredients. Bread, lettuce and cheese. That actually sounds like a very boring sandwich. Have a nice day. I guess he didn't want to add pork or something because of, well, he was a pig. <laughs> Hi, lady, or whatever you are. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen you together. Now, only if Kiel were here. Could be a trio again. Yeah, we're gonna get him now, so... Yeah, we're gonna be a trio again. I don't really care. Who is Kiel, anyway? Let's see. Let's move on. There's... There's some hidden stuff here. I don't think I'll be able to get them all. And to be quite fair, I don't really care about all the items here, but... Oh, well, angry man! Just what's going on? I don't know. Oh, a apple gel, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there's cows in here. Any items, any items? Moo moo. Take care now. Oh. Ugh. You get along... Well, with orlocks, don't you? Okay, so they're not cows, they're orlocks. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I just love their milk. <laughs> okay, that was kind of stupid and pointless, but... Okay, that was all in here, I guess. Weird. Where are we now? Ah, oh, Reed's house! Reed's clothing! Ugh, it's wet! Yeah, you can see that? Well, okay. Let's see, I believe there's something. Climb, come on. There you go. Uh, this is your picture, Reed? Yeah, that's my father. He looks like you, so young. <laughs> and who are the other people with you? Is she your mother? No, I think she's just my father's old friend. I see. Ah, no, I don't want to take a rest. I don't need it. I'm a man. Let's see, is it down here then? Uh, I think it's. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we got lens number two. Yeah, we're nicely on our way to get 60. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> 60. God. I like the gold sculpture. Is only more annoying. Okay, fine. Okay, I can see that. Oh, another apple gel. Okay. Free gels. I'll take it. Oh, back to the elder's house. Hey, douchebag. 
Can I punch you? Can I Sonic Blade you? If you are going, I will not stop you. Good. You can't stop me. I really, really hope that that battery in the top corner there doesn't annoy you, but okay. Hmm, what is this book? Ah. Collector's book. If you read this book, you can find out how many items you have of all the possible collectible, <laughs> collectible items. Hmm. Say, Reed, wouldn't this book be useful? Why don't we borrow it? Borrow? Without permission? Well, even if we ask, he's not going to lend it to us. <laughs> and we... Stole the collector's book. Yeah, you remember the collector's book, right? Yeah. Guess what? There's someone who's get, gonna get a title in this game too, to max or fill out the collector's book. So, yippee! Let's see. Is this edible? <laughs> yeah. Of course, try to eat it. It's, uh... Oh, okay, I found something. Ooh, 500 gold. We should get... We should get paid an, an allowance for the work ahead of us. I guess. So, ha, we stole your book and your money. Goodbye, old douche. Old man, whatever. Okay. This is far away. Yeah, we know. Let's see, I believe this guy. Yeah, don't you get bored by fighting with the same weapons? Do we want to exchange your hand axe for another weapon? Which weapon would you like? Short sword, hand axe, or the short spear? The spear is, of course, the most suitable for thrust attacks, the sword for slash, and the axe is the middle ground. I'm gonna stick with my axe, though. But you can trade or you can trade your weapon as many times as you want. He will not charge you at all. So if you really want a sword or a spear instead, go right ahead. Anyway. It's finally here. The day we leave the village. Don't sound so happy about it. Minch is far to the south. We got some distance to cover. No problem! Uh -huh. Especially with your help, right? <laughs> uh, whatever. Let's go! Uh, gibberish, 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 uzu, gibberish. So, yeah, I know this is kind of stupid, but, uh, you know, let's just go. On the field map, press square to open the travel menu. If you select camp, you can restore your health. Press the select button for hints about your current situation. Yeah, we got skits in this game too, so... I'm gonna show you one skit though before we move on. You'll find mint at the lower reaches of Big River Machines. No problem! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Another no problem. Oh man, I did it too. Anyway, so this is the world map. I love the world map. World map music. I'll admit that, but uh, yeah, it took us two episodes actually to go get out of the village. So uh, I will end the episode off here. So let's see if we can find a way to Minch in the next episode. So I'm Palky Fine Eight. I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.